And we are back. What's up, Hall of Famers? Card Shop Eric here, back live on YouTube at Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, Arcadia, California, getting ready to do a quick Saturday, a rare Saturday break of a quick little four box mixer. We got some four decent boxes in this break Tops Chrome, Tops Tribute, Tops Finest, Tops Museum Collection. Uh, looking forward to doing this break. Thanks to everybody who jumped in. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. Um, let's do some quick randomization uh, for the participants before we get into it. See everyone popping into the group chat, including Ivan. What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, let me do some quick randomization for the participants right now, and uh, then we'll get moving into ripping these boxes. Here's the list of participants and the order they bought in. Let's roll the dice one time to see how many times we we'll randomize it. Six times, dice comes up double threes. We're gonna randomize this list six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There's that, let me copy and paste that real quick into uh, the spreadsheet. There we go. Now here's the list of MLB team names in Alphabetical order as usual. Let's roll the dice one more time. Dice comes up with a five, so this list gets randomized five times, and that'll be our final matchup. Let's see what's happening. <clears throat> There's one, two, three, four, and the fifth and final roll. There it is. There it is. Let me copy and paste this real quick. Boom, so there's the official matchups. If you're participating, you can screenshot that or very quickly just make a mental note or even write down the team or teams you got matched up with. Uh, Steven T ended up with our Dodgers, which is cool. Um, Heron ended up with the Angels. Uh, what's another good team? Yankees went to Brandon D. Um, let's see, Blue Jays are a good team to have this year. Nelson P. ended up with the Blue Jays, and there's a bunch of other great teams on here. Again, thanks to everyone who jumped in. Let's get into these boxes, shall we? Right on. Uh, what's up, everybody, in the group chat? As I'm getting into the first box, I think I'm going to start with Topps Chrome. As I'm getting into this first box, why don't we uh, do some location shout-outs? We are located in Arcadia, California, but we like to know where you guys are watching from. Drop your location into the group, the group chat, and we'll shout out a few locations as they pop up, including Bubble Pug in Wisconsin, and Michael Heron, what's up, in New York. Uh, we got Ed in Chicago, and Brandon in Texas. What's up, Aldo and El Sereno. Uh, Kerbo in Chicago. What's up, Raul in Visalia, and Nick in New Jersey, Alex and Henderson, Nevada, uh, Winter Season in Buffalo, Oscar in Miami, uh, Richard Petty in the Albertsons parking lot in Arcadia. Is there still an Albertsons around? Uh, that's funny. What's up, Jason in Arcadia? Noah in Chicago. Bunch of people popping in. Kick in Garden Grove. Thanks, everyone, for, chime, for chiming in right now and for checking out our, our little channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up to like this video real quick. We have a personal challenge to see how many likes we can get during a live stream. This should be a pretty quick stream here, maybe 30, 40 minutes at best. Uh, some cool products coming out right here. Topps Chrome, starting with Topps Chrome first. Two autographs per box. Let's see who's going to get them. First pack, Jacob Nix, Tyone, Trevor Story on a prism. And Edwin Encarnacion, and we are off and running with a rare Saturday break going on here. If you missed out on getting into this break, uh, we still have some spots left in a, a really cool Panini mixer break. Only $24.99 a spot. Um, and some really nice boxes going on there. A lot of hits going on in that break as well. So that's what we have set up for now. Our Bowman Chrome case break did sell out. Thanks, everybody. Helped us sell that out. Um, that break will be taking place on Friday of next week. Uh, as you guys may or may not remember, I've been announcing it all week long. Uh, I'm going to be going out of town to the Industry Summit through Wednesday. 
So that's why we can't execute that case break on release day because I won't even be in town. Um, I won't even be back at the shop really till probably Thursday. Uh, but if you are in town, card shop Matt will be running the shop for us. So feel free to uh, please stop by and say hi to Matty in store. And then uh, join us on Friday for the Bowman Chrome case break. Here's a autograph here. Ramon Laureano of the Oakland Athletics is the first hit of this break. And it's going to MFH. Heron bought like a million spots in this break. Thanks, buddy. Uh, hope to see you do well. Hopefully we can pull some good stuff. I like Ramon Laureano. He's a good player, man. That's a good on-card rookie autograph right there. It's pretty clean. So that's the first of what might be many hits for you, Heron. But we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Here's Smoke. A little duel with Alomar and Lindor. We got uh, Mondesi and Molina. Scoop my chair up a little. <clears throat> Reese Hoskins, Taewon Walker, Yusei Kikuchi again, and Matt Chapman. <clears throat> Byron Buxton, Mikel Franco on the prism, Andrews and Martinez. Matt Boyd, Buster Posey, Ichiro, Miguel Andahar. <clears throat> Josh James, Joey Gallo, Clayton Kershaw, Tim Anderson there. So yeah, we're leaving at the crack of dawn tomorrow night to head out to the Industry Summit, which uh, this year is taking place in Las Vegas. <clears throat> For uh, four days, three nights. There should be a little purple parallel right here. Can't really tell who that is. It's Chris Shaw. Nice old purple refractor rookie on card autograph. San Francisco Giants getting the second hit out of this box early. We're not even halfway through. San Francisco Giants belong to Nelson P. Nelson P got a nice old purple autograph number 183 out of 250. Right here. Chris Shaw, nice old on card rookie purple refractor. Auto. Cheers. <clears throat> Mancini, Alcantara, Olsen, and Franco. So unless we get a bonus or, uh, you know, another cool refractor or something, it should do it for the main hits out of this box, but we'll go through them as usual. All cards do ship in our breaks. <clears throat> Devers, DeGrom, Trevor Richards and Starling Marte right here. This Trevor Richards is a uh, purple parallel. And yeah, you know what? Uh, let's do a little, I don't think we're going to do too many numbered cards in this box. So let's do a little numbered card challenge with this. This card's numbered out of 299. Here's how it works. I'm looking at you guys who are watching right now. Uh, pick a number between 1 and 299. Uh, drop it into the comments. Only one guess per person or you're immediately disqualified. If you happen to guess the number exactly right, We'll ship you a pack of Topps Chrome on the house. Give you about 10 seconds to throw a guess out in there, and then we'll reveal the number. Dave Riddell, first up with one. I like that. He's going with the first card in the print run. I like that. <clears throat> so we'll give you about five more seconds. There's not a ton of people watching today. Uh, that's all right. We don't usually break on Saturdays, but I wanted to get this break done before I split town so we can hopefully pack it up and get it out to people, the cards will start showing up next week as opposed to having to wait later in the week. Anyways, last guess cutoff is Caesar with 185. The number is 238. Anybody guess anywhere near 238? It's a hard game to play, especially when there's less people in the chat. I don't see anybody that even really guessed in the 200s. But it's a, it's a fun game to play. It's a hard game to win. All right, here we go. Joey Votto, Kepler, Castellanos, and Granke. Piscotti, Bowers, Sheffield, and Brandon Lowe. Joe Panic, 
Bellinger, Lindor, Keller. Hamilton, Polanco, Hanager, Upton. Arcia, Matt Olson on the prism there, Duffy and Rosario. Tommy Pham, Tatis Jr. rookie there, Lindor and Schwarber. Guriel Jr., Rizzo, Lasiga, Ramirez. What's up, Jason Wento? He says, hey, everyone. Hope you guys had a good Saturday. So far, so good, buddy. <clears throat> Here's Colin Moran, Perez, Falefa, Arcia. Last pack in the Chrome box. We saw the autographs out of here early. Taylor Ward, Jake Bowers. Ooh, a nice little... Nice Aaron Judge gold card in the last pack, huh? That's pretty cool. Yeah, 21 out of 50. 21 out of 50. That's a nice gold card right there. It's got a image in the background that I can't quite tell what that is. But that's a, that's a nice card. Who ended up with the Yankees? I said it earlier. Uh, it's Brandon D. Brandon D. That's a nice little card. I'll put a, I'll put a sleeve on that for you. Looks good. So that's what we saw out of the Topps Chrome box. Chris Shaw, purple, and Ramon Laureano, rookie auto. Not bad. Next up, I'm going to get into the finest. I'm going to get into the finest. After a sip of water. Each box of finest comes with two mini boxes with, I believe, six packs per mini box and one finest autograph card per mini box. If I can get these out of here. Which stack do you guys think I should start with, the right or the left? Take a vote real quick. Right or left stack? There we go. Right or left? Which one do you think I should start with? Heron says right. <clears throat> Wento says left. A lot more people saying left. Right, right, left, right, left. A lot more people saying left. So we're gonna we're gonna go with the left stack first. Let's see. Last time I opened one of these boxes, the autograph was in the top pack. Let's see if it's true for this box. Here's Snell, Castellanos. Ooh, it is. Danny Jansen autograph coming out in the top pack. So Toronto getting a little love. It may not be the Vladdy that uh, you might hope for, but it's a nice uh, rookie autograph from their catcher, Danny Jansen. And uh, by the way, this card's going to Nelson P. Nelson, that's your autograph card, plus all the other Blue Jays cards are going to be coming your way next week. Let's see what else this mini box has to hold. Giolito, Tatis, rookie, Perez, and a nice purple Juan Soto right there, number 208 out of 150, 208 out of 250, excuse me, purple, Washington Nationals belong to Nathan B. Wade, Wade gets this card. What's up, Soup? Soup's up here. Everyone say hi to Soup, a.k.a. Luis Valdez. Hope you're having a good day, buddy. Looking forward to seeing you later. Matt Chapman, Mike Trout, Paul Goldschmidt, Robinson Cano, and Mikel Franco. That's a decent pack of cards right there. Uh, uh, uh. 
<clears throat> Colby Allard, Kyle Wright, Eloy Jimenez, rookie, Scooter, and Kepler. Noah Syndergaard, Gallo, Hanager, Anderson, and Posey. All right, mini box number two. We'll start from the bottom on this one. Somebody was asking me to start from the bottom. So we're going to start from the bottom of this stack and see what happens. Here's DeGrom. Here's Hoskins. Willie Adames. The gold uh, Heath Fellmeyer right here. I love the gold cards on Finest and Chrome. I think I like them a little bit more on the Finest. Really cool looking. This is number 35 out of 50, and it's going to the owner of the Kansas City Royals in this break, which is Nathan B. You're getting the Royals cards, including this gold parallel. Let's see, Sheffield, Bell, Soto, Kluber, and I think we have an autograph behind Bell. Let's see if we can see if we can guess who it is. It's a Yankee. So we have a Yankee autograph right here. Who do you guys think it is on the Yankees? Any guesses early right now, just knowing that it's a Yankee? Anybody have any guesses who it could be early? <clears throat> Chapman, Glaber, Chance Adams, Severino, Judge, CeCe, Batances. Let's reveal a little bit of the face here. It looks like maybe a pitcher. Anybody, anybody uh, recognize that nose and eyes right there? Soup says Urchella. Alex says Dee Dee. Oh, there's the mouth. There's the mouth. He's got his mouth kind of open. He's kind of doing some pouty selfie lips right there. I don't recognize it, really. It's not even an autograph. I was fooled. I was fooled by the white down here. I thought that was going to be the white where they signed, but it's not. It's Justice Sheffield, but it's a nice, finest first rookie card. Psych to everybody. I just psyched even myself out. Well, let's see where the autograph's going to be. Pujols, Shaw, Santana, Story, and Myers. Is the autograph going to be in the top pack again, or in this case, the bottom? Here's Justin Smoke, Carlos Correa. Ben Intendi, Blue Chips, Walker Bueller, Jose Barrios. Let's see, Jose Ramirez, Zach Granke, Mitch Hanager, Christian Stewart, Michael Kopek. So yeah, the autograph was once again in the front pack of the mini box. Should be here, unless there was a mistake made. Let's see, Byron Buxton. There's Aaron Judge. There's, a, I believe, the auto behind him. We also have Swanson, Altuve. So let's try it again here. Behind Judge is the autograph. Let's see which team it's going to be now for reals. Mm, looks like Mets. Looks like Mets. Somebody holding a glove. It looks like the ball is in the glove. Who do you guys think it's going to be on the Mets? Nimmo? Alonzo, McNeil, DeGrom, those are good guesses. Syndergaard, I like the McNeil guess. That's a good guess. Let's reveal a little bit more of the face here. There's the eyes. Wow, he's got some crazy eyes. Look at that. Crazy eyes right there. You guys recognize those eyes? Aldo says Ron Darling. <laughs> I like that guess. He's definitely making a face. You guys recognize that face? It's Jeff McNeil. Whoever said Jeff McNeil was correct, and this is a nice finest firsts. Refractor auto right here. That's a pretty card. New York Mets are a good team to have. That's Chad M. What's up, Chad, If you wherever you are right now? It's a nice little card coming your way. Cheers, buddy. Let's look at the back of this one. Congratulations, you just received a finest first auto from 2019 Topps Finest. <clears throat> That's a really nice card. I like these. Very cool. Uh, I got two boxes left in this break, and both of them are really cool products. Uh, let's take a vote. 
What do you want to see? Tribute or museum next? You guys vote in the chat while I take a sip of water. See what wins. <laughs> Two votes for tribute. Three. Jason Wento reminding everybody to hit that thumbs up. Hit that like button right now. We have a personal challenge to see how many likes we can get during a live stream. I just hit it on my side. A lot of votes for Tribute. Looks like Tribute's going to go first. So let's do it. I like Tribute. Really, really classy looking cards. Great looking product. Actually, I'm just going to take the packs out like that. I'm going to mix these up just because. And I'm going to ask you guys which card, which pack should I start with first? One, two, three, four, five, or six? One, two, three, four, five, or six. Somebody drop some numbers in there for me right now. Heron says four. One, two, three, four. That's that one. Trout the Beast says three. That's that one. And uh, Texas says five. Four, three, five. Four, three, five. Those are going to be the first three we start with right there. And then let's see. We'll do uh, Riddell said one. Sports Gaming said two. And then uh, we'll, yeah, in this order on the back. So there we go. Just like that. Let's see what's up. One hit per pack on Tribute. One autograph or relic per pack. And chance to get a bonus card. Jacob deGrom, base card right here. You see how thick the card stock is just on the base cards? It's pretty thick card stock. Compare that to the card stock from a Topps Finest right next to it. You see that? So it's about three times the thickness of a Topps Finest or a Topps Chrome. DeGrom, we see Don Mattingly numbered 58 out of 99 right there. We'll get a quick sleeve on that. And the hit, I believe I already saw the name, and it's a good name. How about Mr. Randy Johnson, folks? Yeah. Expos cards go to the uh, Washington Nationals as usual in our breaks. So this is going to Wade. Part of Nathan B is Nathan B's order. And this is going to Wade. That's a sick card right there. It's numbered 13 out of 40. Randy Johnson had quite a heater. Wento says, boom machine activated. Jersey Devil says, wow, incredible hit. Bryce Dahl says, lucky. That is a nice hit. One of the best pitchers that ever played the game right there, Mr. Randy Watson. <laughs> Wento, do you know what that name was from? Randy Watson? Oh, we got trouble coming in the front door, folks. Call the authorities. Call the authorities. Uh, uh, Luis Valdez is in the house, folks. You might know him as Superman or Soup from... Uh, from Dodger Film Softball. He looks pretty cool right now with those shades. Say what's up. What's up? <laughs> Soup with the surprise pop in right now. I love it, buddy. We just pulled a sick Randy Johnson autograph. Ooh. Yeah. That is nice. We're getting into the two best boxes of this break right now. That was the first pack of tribute. Well, I should bring good luck then, right? I hope so. Hey, like I was saying, here's a bonus. This pack has a bonus card, four cards instead of three. Let's see what's in it. We got Joe Morgan. On the back, we got Miguel Andahar. We've got Luis Urias, 258 out of 435. Nice little numbered rook. Padres, I'll sleeve that in a second. And the hit out of this pack is A.J. Pollock. 
Diamondbacks getting a little love. There we go. D-backs. Who got the D-backs? That's Aldo. Aldo, a little love for you. A little triple swatch numbered 123 out of 150. And a little top swatch has a little stain on it. A little dirt stain or a, maybe a sweat stain or something. Probably pine, a dirt. Pine tar? Probably a dirt stain. Maybe a pine tar stain. Yeah, you never know. That's cool. I always like when the, when the relics have little stains on them. Makes it seem like it's just that much more game used. <clears throat> so there you go, Aldo. A little love. All right, Anthony Rizzo base card in this pack. We've got Eddie Matthews, Milwaukee, or uh, going to Atlanta Braves. Eddie Matthews base card, and the hit out of this pack is. Let's just check it out. A Rod. A Rod, 44 out of 150, a little dual relic. Reminds me, I just recently watched like a little documentary movie that's on Netflix. It's called Screwball. Have you heard of it? I've seen it, but I haven't, re haven't seen it. Have you guys, have you guys heard of this uh, little documentary Netflix that's on, uh, that's on Netflix? It's called Screwball. It's about uh, biogenesis and Tony Bosch, the guy who started this this uh, biogenesis company and who supplied HGH and steroids to many MLB players and A-Rod was one of them. <clears throat> I find it interesting that, uh, that uh, people that were caught doing steroids and essentially cheating the game still have jobs in the business. <laughs> oh, yeah. For real. <laughs> I find that interesting. You have McGuire um, as hitting coach or Barry. <clears throat> Jersey Devil says, A-Rod's the most universally disliked ball player since John Rocker. What did John Rocker get in trouble let's for? Like, not get into yeah, that. Yes, you're let's right. Okay, never that. mind. But you're, <laughs> you might be right about that. <laughs> yes, we won't, we won't go into details. <clears throat> Uh, so let's see, here's a Willie Stargell base card, and the hit in this pack is Noah Syndergaard. A little prime relic there, numbered out of uh, 150, 25 out of 150. These are cool. So this has a little hologram, and the hologram, if it'll focus, has a number on it, 825972JC. You can take that number over at MLB.com, click on their web like the drop down menu and you click on I believe it's sh click on shop and then click click on authentications and then you uh, can insert that little number and it'll tell you which game that jersey came from that which game he wore the jersey kind of neat really that's cool <laughs> anyways this goes to the Mets and the Mets are owned by I said it earlier but I forgot here Chad M Chad M a little no another something for you Chad so if anybody wanted to do that, you could write down that code and go check it out and maybe come back and tell us what game that was used in. 825972JC. I think the JC needs to be first. JC825972. Just did it yesterday. Evan wants soup to open up museum collection. How do you feel about that? Soup? I can't see maybe, that well. Maybe, so. maybe rip a pack or two? I'll open a pack, yeah. If you guys want soup to open up one pack of museum collection, tie, just drop a thumbs up in the uh, link in the uh, chat right now. Drop a thumbs up right now. We'll see if we can get, well, we got 40 watching. If we can get, I don't know, 20? If we get half the people watching to drop a thumbs up, then soup's going to open up a pack. Sounds you, fair. You can count. Here's Jackie Robinson. Here is uh, Trey Turner. And the hit out of this pack is, I already saw the team. It's Atlanta Braves right there. Let's see if we can see the face on it. Lighting is not awesome. That looks like, what, Ozzy Albies? Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> nice little on-card auto with a patch there. Numbered 43, uh, 49 out of 50. 
And that is also a prime relic. So you can look up that JC588309. Well, that's a nice on card auto of a star player for the Braves. Did you watch any of that game last night on YouTube? I did not. Anybody else watch that game last night on YouTube? It was Braves versus uh, somebody. Indians, maybe? Mm. I forget. <laughs> now I'm blanking out. It was a good game, though. <laughs> Um, Nationals, yes, Nationals. Jersey Devil, Nationals, Braves. Uh, speaking of Braves, this card is going to Chad M. Chad bought multiple spots, and it's paying off for him. He's getting hits. Getting hits. That's a very nice-looking card. In fact, that one's going to preside in the background for a moment. It looks like he wrote all. I like that card a lot. A-L-L. -L. Yeah. Yeah. Did we get enough? Do we get a lot of thumbs ups? We got a lot of thumbs ups. One, two. Wento put five thumbs ups. We'll count it. Seven, eight, what? nine, <laughs> ten, twelve. What? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Blaine did like fifteen thumbs ups. So yeah, soup will open a pack. Uh, changing the rules here. Well, the, the rules were never created in the per in the first place. So. Uh, here's I'm Babe Ruth. <laughs> Uh, Carlos Correa. And the last hit in our box of tribute is... What do we think? Uh, who's the guy? Ryan Barucki? <laughs> it's blue. It's Edgar oh, Martinez. Nice. Hey, Andy would like that card. Yeah. That's a nice card. Edgar Martinez, on-card auto, blue parallel, 119 out of 150. Seattle Mariners are loving it right now. That team in this break is owned by Brian L. Brian L., if you're watching now or later, you should be stoked, man. That is cool. He's a new Hall of Famer, right? Great. Yeah. Recently. One of the most recent Hall of Fame inductees, Edgar Martinez. Nice autograph. Pretty decent box. This one with the Randy Johnson with the Ozzy Albies. The three big hits out of that box. That's cool. <clears throat> I'm actually going to put that card in the back as well until something better comes along. And hopefully something better maybe does come along out of Topps Museum. I'm going to get you started here, Soup. Do it up. And then Soup's going to sit down and open the first pack out of this box. Take a vote. Let's take a vote. Which pack do you guys want soup to open? One, two, three, or four? They don't really stand up too well, do they? One, two, three, or four. We'll take a vote as he's getting into the hot seat right now. Whoops. Mind, be mindful of the camera. It's kind of yeah. janky right now. Let's see what votes are coming up here. A lot of people, let's see, two, three, two, two, one, four, three, three, three. A lot of threes or twos. Yeah. Let's go with number three. Number three it is, all right. Use this little thing, it's spring-loaded. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, soup's not much for talking, so you can just move yeah. your mouth and I'll talk for you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Soup. Hey, don't start. <laughs> don't start. Uh, Patrick's asking how he buys into our breaks. Definitely not a dumb question, buddy. That's a fair question. Uh, if Ivan's still watching, maybe Ivan can drop a link. Just visit our website, basically, hofbc.com. And uh, there's actually a break right at the top of our home page. You can also click that link that Ivan dropped. All right, so the hit. Anthony hits. Rizzo, which, where's the hit? All right. It's probably that thick one, so that's going to be the so. second card. All right, cool. If you want to slow roll. 47 around. out of 50. All right, Rizzo, numbered card for the Cubs. Cubs belong and to, real quick, let me shout out the Cubbies. Bottom, Michael F.H. Yeah, all right, this is a hit right here. Okay, meaningful material. It's a pirate. It's a pirate. Maybe a Josh Bell? Maybe a Clemente? That looks McCutcheon? like, no, that's, it just, what, Marte? Starling oh, Marte? Starling Marte? I know, I said McCutcheon, even though I know he's not on that team anymore. But Soup nailed it. That's a good one. Soup yeah. nailed it. Starling Marte. Nice uh, gold parallel. Looks like 18 out, 18 out of 25. Little three break patch right there for the Pittsburgh Pirates, who in this break are owned by Chad M. Wow, Chad bought multiple spots. 
and the teams he matched up with just happened to be hot in this break. George Springer, Freddie Freeman, and Clayton Kershaw. Not bad, man. Decent yeah. pack. Let me get a sleeve on these cards for Chad here. At least uh, this one here. I'll get a sleeve on that numbered card as well. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> nice job, buddy. Yeah. Everybody say thanks to Soup for ripping a pack. There you go. Oh, let's switch again, and I'll do the last three. And All right, folks. A lot of votes for two earlier, so I'm going to open what would have been pack two. So that's the Prime Relic. We're due a uh, Quad Relic, an On-Card Auto, and an Autographed Relic. Let's see what's up. Everybody's saying thank you to Soup. You're welcome. Soup says you're welcome. I don't know how hearable that was. <laughs> Audible. Matt Carpenter here. We got Mike Piazza there. Roberto Clemente, Ooh, that's cool. everywhere. Jose Altuve, sliding. And the hit out of this pack. It's going to be probably the quad relic. Quad relic of, uh, that looks like a Cleveland Indians helmet. Nah. Yeah. You recognize that face? Anybody recognize that face right there? Do you? Not really. Who's that? Not really, huh? What do you guys think? Someone's saying Lindor. I could see. And it's it. right. Yeah. It didn't really look like Lindor. Yeah, I was. But it is. That. That's cool. Though. Another gold, uh, gold parallel. Twenty-one out of twenty-five. Two pieces of baseball bat. Two pieces of jersey. So Cleveland getting a little hit late in the break. That's Logan. Logan D. Nice looking card coming your way as well as everything else that's from Cleveland out of this break. Uh, Jersey Devil thinks uh, Lindor is going to get paid when he hits free agency because Cleveland cannot afford him. Oh yeah, I agree. <clears throat> totally agree. Uh, two packs left. Which one should we do first? Left or right, folks? Left or right? Two packs left. <clears throat> Evan is the first person to say right, so we're going to go right. Evan, Bryce, and Jersey Devil all said right. So there's still what, on card? Autograph? And yeah, there's still two autographs. Two autographs. So both of these packs should hold autographs in them. One autograph relic and one straight autograph. This is a nice Jackie Robinson, blue parallel, numbered... 84 out of 150. It's a nice looking card. Yeah. I love the gold leaf on these cards. It really classes it up. Let's see. We got Acuna. Ozzy Smith, the wizard. the wizard. Josh Donaldson. Joe Doe, as I call him. Joe Doe. What's his name? Rain, Rain Man, I think? No, Rain. Something with the rain, right? Who? Donaldson's name. His nickname? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Ringer of Rain. There we go. Ringer of Rain? I didn't know that. Here's the hit. It looks like Cubs. Numbered out of 199. So behind Jackie Robinson, you can see the little Cubs logo on the helmet. Who do you guys think it's going to be? I say Wilson Contreras. Soup's saying Wilson Contreras early. I'm going to say Anthony Rizzo. Oh, it looks like a lefty. Yeah, it's a lefty. Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber, indeed. Nice little on-card archival art autograph. Number 96 of 199 for the Cubs' own Kyle Schwarber. Michael Heron, this card's coming to you, my man. It's a nice signature, too. Yeah. Even Soup thinks it's a nice card. You know it's a nice card when that happens. You have just received an archival autograph from 2019 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. Booyah. Let me get a sleeve on Jackie here real quick. And then we're going to get into the last pack. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. All right, last pack, folks.
All right. Be sure to visit us online at hofbc.com to jump into our next break or picks up a, pick up a box of cards for yourself today. This is Trevor Stories, number two out of 99. Also, don't forget, uh, I will be out of town through Wednesday, but card shop Matt will be running the shop Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, and our next break will be taking place Friday, Bowman Chrome, full case. And personal breaks will not be happening on Monday, obviously, as I've been announcing for the last week and a half. Here's Charlie Blackman, Jacob deGrom. We have a sketch card here, Javier Baez. That's nice. I like the red background. And the hit, the final hit of the break. I think it's going to be this way. This way. <laughs> okay, red. Red's a, sometimes a good start. Oh, that's Angels. Looks like a righty. Who's a righty for the Angels, Sue? Uh, the worst player in baseball? The worst player in baseball is a righty for the Angels. Do we think this is him? Oh, man. I don't think no. it is. I don't think it is. Justin Upton. Upton is a good guess. I like that. Pujols is a good guess. I'm going to say, like, maybe Joe Adele. I don't even know if he, have any, is he, if he has any cards in here, but let's check out the face. Look at those eyes peering out of the shadows. Yeah, it's Upton. Jay up Woo! Ooh, nice little beautiful. signature there. Nice little signature, and Soup was correct. Anybody else that said Upton was correct as well, numbered it. 085 out of 199, little triple relic autograph from the Angels, Justin Upton. He's got a pretty decent signature. It's clean. Mm -hmm. Nice penmanship. The Angels in this break belong to Heron. There you go, MFH. Getting some hits. Pretty nice, right? Not bad at all. Nope. I might show off some of these cards. Just some of the main hits real quick before we split. Do a little organizing here, and then I'll do a little hit recap. If that's all right with everybody. boo boo doo be doo All right. That's the end of the break, folks. I told you it was going to be quick. Four boxes, a couple of higher-end ones. Here's the hit recap brought to you by us right here at Hall of Fame Baseball Cards and HOFBC.com, where it's always a beautiful day for collecting. Tops Chrome, we saw Chris Shaw Purple and Ramon Laureano, both rookie autographs right there. Then we went to Topps Finest. We saw Jeff, Mc, Jeff McNeil, Finest Firsts, and Danny Jansen, both rookie autographs right there. Then we went to Topps Tribute. We saw A.J. Pollock, who's no longer with the D-backs, but he's doing pretty well with the Dodgers, isn't yeah. he? Hitting some bombs. We saw, let's see, let's take it out this way. We saw Noah Syndergaard, Relic. A Rod Relic. Here's the Pollock. We saw a cool Randy Johnson autograph. Uh, we also saw these two cards that are sitting in the back Ozzy Albies autographed patch and uh, Edgar Martinez, newest member of the Hall of Fame, right there. Tribute was a decent box. I feel like all these boxes were okay. We just saw the Schwarber autograph from Museum. We saw the Lindor quad relic. We saw, there's the Rizzo numbered parallel. We saw the Starling Marte, cool little three break patch. And we uh, saw last but not least, Justin Upton, triple relic autograph numbered out of 199. And that's it. That's it, just a quick little break today. We wanted to get this done before I take off for uh, the next few nights. Um, but we'll be back, uh, sh the shop will be open. Online store is gonna be open. 
I just won't be here to help run things, um, but other people will be here. Please stop by the website or stop by the shop. Say hi to Card Shop Matt. And I will be back here live on Friday at 2 p.m. so we can check out a full case of Bowman Chrome. That should be fun. So that's it. Thanks, everybody, for checking in. Special thanks, of course, to all the participants. We couldn't do it without you guys uh, buying spots in these breaks, and glad you're enjoying it. Thanks to Soup for uh, being here, opening up one pack. Huge help, buddy. Huge help. <laughs> Thanks to uh, Yama, who's over here working uh, tirelessly behind the counter right now, and everybody else. Hope you have a great rest of the weekend, everybody. See you soon. Peace.